Hello everyone, in this video we will see how we can save a Python list or a Python dictionary to a local file. This is very useful when we have some a large list or a large uh, dictionary uh, or they are coming uh, from some complex manipulation and calculations and we don't want to lose them. Let's go to an example. As usually we are inside our Python projects folder. We will open Python terminal, we will cd to our folder and enter Python and we need to use the JSON library. This library is contained in the standard library so we don't need to install it. Import JSON and let's create some pretty large uh, dictionary. So we have this dictionary with five keys and each value is equal with, uh, each value contains 100 uh, elements, the, it, it is a list with 100 elements. So we want to save this structure, this object to a local folder. Uh, in order to do this we will use these commands, we will give the file name um, dict file json write we need to add the write attribute here in order to write the file um, and json df so the first parameter is our dictionary, the second one is the uh, writing object. And if we execute this, we see a new file created here and if we open it with uh, Notepad++, we will see the dictionary. So this is the file. And this file is alive even if the terminal closes and we can use it later uh, without uh, losing it. So let's open it again. Um, again we will cd to our folder and our Python and we will use again the JSON library and new dict with open dict file this is the name of our file as f new dict equals json load f. So we loaded our dictionary to this new dict object and we can see that we have the same the same uh, object. Uh, we can do the same with a list json um, uh, recognizes both a dictionary and uh, dictionaries and lists and uh, saves them accordingly. JSON generally is a widely used type of file uh, between and it's very useful to work uh, between different programming languages uh, and is also very useful working with servers and uh, APIs because it, it is a very easy way to to send uh, to send data. Uh, especially via, via websites. Uh, so let's create a list, list range um, Okay, 
okay so we have 10 million elements and we will now save this list again as a as an uh, uh, into a local file let's start this and again list file json write as f json tab l f we can see the list file here It is pretty large, it is uh, 86 megabytes, and we can open it with uh, Notepad++. And again, if we close this terminal, we can load this list station load f and we can see the new list in our terminal and the length is 10 million uh, Notepad++ may take some time. Uh, we don't need to see it, actually. So that was all. Uh, let me know your uh, thoughts and uh, questions in uh, the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.